I gotta get back in the groove of Mass Effect. Alright, so let's see here. You lead, I'll follow. Faster than ship mobility dominates space combat. The primary objective is to align the mass accelerator along the bow with the opposing vessel's broadside. Battles typically play out as artillery duels, fought at ranges measured in thousands of kilometers. Though assaults through defended mass relays often occur at knife fight ranges, as close as a few dozen kilometers. Most ship-to-ship -ship engagements are skirmishes between patrol vessels of cruiser weight and below with dreadnoughts and carriers only deployed in full-scale fleet actions. Battles in open... Faster than... Well, damn. Ship mobility Let me read ahead. dominates space combat. Alright. Let's see... Hmm. Disable the double A tower. Disable the gun so Normandy can land. <clears throat> All right, we got quite the way to go. Oh, boy. trick is like and this is how most games are you can just like run by these enemies you don't you don't have to fight them <laughs> the AI is that is not that smart they don't chase you they just have their generic positions oh damn it Work smarter than not harder, that's what I say. Just my value. There we go. That's what I thought. <laughs> Drive over them. Work smarter, not harder. I bet some people like shoot all the enemies as they come up here. No, man, just, just drive on by. Ain't not fun that way. Oh, I'm not having fun. <laughs> Happy I shot at them a little bit. Work smarter, not harder. What's up? What's up? But you're supposed to stay and battle them like a man. Nah. Oh wait, am I going in a circle? Hold on now. So let's, uh, check out the map. Okay, here we go right. We go to the right. We go to the right. There we go. We must find a way to disable their artillery. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, we're we're protected here.
think that's it. I think we should be able to go in. We must find a way to disable their artillery. Boom. All right. supposed to go. Let's see. Any better weapons? Nope. Shoot the light part. I don't think so. I'll try one more time. Oh, you just touch them. All right. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Now. Right. Ready to move on your word, Shepard. Gun, double A guns are down. The Normandy can land at the Solarian camp. Continue and meet them there. All right. That's where we would go. Are there any bonuses over here? the bonus.
sure we're going the right way. Yep. Oh, we get open up these gates too, don't we? Teamwork. What's up, bitches? Let's go, peek your head out. Oh, shit. All right. I think we're done here. Yeah, we are. Should be clear from here. Let's do it. Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain is planning to get here. There's the Solarian captain. What's up, babies? So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. <clears throat> hmm. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men in investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here. It's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. 
What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for oh, the Oh, shit! What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility the Krogan's like, I'm right here. Destroyed. <laughs> destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. <laughs> These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. I'm concerned about Rex. Still trust him. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Oh shit. Is this like a big battle in the game it sounds like? Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. Yeah, no, for just stole them. anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. You just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. That's because I'm awesome. Let me see what you have. What little there is.
All right, let's see. Armor. Twice as fast. Go through this guy. Nope. Oh, we could do do upgrades. Let's see. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. The mission will succeed. The captain will not have it any other way. If we fail, no one will hear of this. We'll succeed? See? I'm just... Commander. Come and see me after you spoke. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you? not see what this means to the Krogan. This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets. Tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. around. Alright, so now we go to see that dude.
dude's a heck of a soldier, but he gets tired after like five seconds of running. He's like, dude, you're out of shape, man. Come on. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Just wipe it off my glasses. I don't think anybody's watching the stream anyway. Alright, but somebody might watch the replay. I hope this is the. I wonder if this is the kind of game like if you beat the main game, you can go back and do all the side missions. If not, that'll kind of suck a little bit. Uh, okay. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turi and ask goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Of course. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. Hmm... You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. <coughs> not so fast, LT. Commander <coughs> Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. <coughs> with all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? This is my decision, not yours. Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be. <coughs> Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. <clears throat> we will create a distraction while... Disable the AA gun... Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander.
It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. <coughs> Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. All right. Let's do it. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Hmm. 40 damage protection. Oh, it can't use it. Damn it. 24. It's better. Oh, she can't use any. Get the Omni Jail. All right.
Oh. All right. All right. Now we got that. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> All right, let's get those upgrades. This world is beautiful. Too bad it's been contaminated by Seren and his geth. I don't know which is worse. The geth or all this sand in my... Never mind. Mm hmm? Go to the main Geth base, try to slow down Geth defense. Communications tower. Fueling platform, satellite upland tower. Research facility. Hmm. <clears throat> guess on the way there, let's hit all these things and try to... I guess slow them down? I don't even know. <clears throat> it's weird we don't have the vehicle though. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with A Igor team. Manovai, J Eto teams, move. Time to get some attention.
world is beautiful. Too bad it's been contaminated by sand and it's yet. <clears throat> Something scrambled or targeting. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Olenko, take the heat off Man of I.
die. Wanna become famous? No, Our you're a fucking piece of shit. Fuck bigfollows.com. Have to find out how to block your goddamn spam. Fuck your spam. Fuck your spam. Oh, you fucking spammer. You gotta get yourself blocked and reported for spam because you're a piece of shit.
materialize. If you need to get some help, Shadow. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. This world is beautiful. Too bad it's been contaminated by Siren and his death. Let's get it. We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Thank you. 
Okay, let's check out what's over here first. There could be bonuses. No bonuses. All right, let's go. Let's get it. This place is an abomination. Seren's research must be destroyed. There is something foul in the air here. Sorry, I farted. Hello? Is someone out there? What's up, bitch? I said what's ground, up. Lieutenant. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. What was that noise? What's going on?
Detention cells. Okay. Well, you're not a gath, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Ganto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrible. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he Ooh, fully Sounds like a religion. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. These look docile. Their minds are gone. What drove Saren to this? It is cruel beyond measure. Hmm. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. Wait a minute. Um, what time is it? 'm gonna change my choice I'm gonna change the choice I made there We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Hmm. 
down Is someone out there? Give a little ground, Lieutenant. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Well, you're not a gaff. And you're Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything they about were the studying? I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell. But then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, humans. And good luck. You'll need it. These look docile. 
their minds are gone. What drove Sir into this? It is cruel beyond measure. Leave them. Let's get moving. It's safest, but I would prefer they be put out of their misery. You know what? I agree. And that's why I saved the game. I just was wondering what it would do. So yep, we're gonna we're gonna put them down. Put those doggies down. Alright. Well, you're not a gat. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the Third Infiltration Regiment captured your transmission own. wasn't clear. I, he knew about the I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. Don't thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. <clears throat> These look dark. What drove Sir into this? It is cruel beyond measure. Better to die than to live like this. Just kill them where they stand, Shepard. Are you certain? It's what I would want. This place is an abomination. Seren's research must be destroyed. All right, and we continue the epic final battle. Let me see. To the lab. What's this? To the labs. To the lab. Eh, let's check it over here. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savata of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I just said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Hmm. Something's not right here, Shepard. Yep. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No. I, I need to get out. This room is too small, and it keeps talking, and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. Mm -hmm. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Uh
really? Just a loop? Okay, here we go. I was gonna say. Ooh, three thirty. Fuck yeah. Are counting on us, we can't let them down. Base exterior, okay. <laughs> there is an elevator, I'm gonna check that out first. <coughs> That's a sneeze. There comes <coughs> another sneeze.
breeding facility entrance. So this way is the security communication tower. So let's check out the breeding entrance. This way. Oh wait. What? Whoa, damn it. I took a wrong turn. <clears throat> oh. Can't go there until the bridge comes down. I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. <clears throat> At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Hmm. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. <clears throat> now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think... He's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes.
I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! Hmm? I believe you enjoyed that, Shepard. This place is an abomination. Seren's research must be destroyed. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. are counting on us, Shepard. We can't let them down. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. Mm. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. 
They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. Mm. They are harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. <laughs> I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things That's up. That's what she fast. said. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. There is something foul in the air here. I farted again. Returning from your position, Dieto. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Alenko, head them off. Hold them. I said, stay down, punk.
What's up, big boy? Yo! Shadow team, now it's our turn.
Let's get it. about to go down. <clears throat> That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Charge set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. <laughs> All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Let's get it. <clears throat> Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. 
Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now! Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. It appears the Geth have sent reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and is bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! Damn it. I'm activating the nuke! What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Caden. I think we both know that's not going to happen, Commander. Uh.
You gotta go back? Double check, I'm looking at this right. Huh. Yeah, I guess I do have to go back. Son of a bitch. You ride all the way up on the elevator for nothing. Come on, man. You like that? Well, we're going down. It just got real. It just got real. It just got real. Oh shit, all the way back here? You bastard.
It appears the Geth have sent reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and is bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Hold on, Chief. I'm coming back to get you. Negative! It's too late for us! There's just too many of them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Caden. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. The big boy. I applaud you, Shepard. My guests were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. 
cannot sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Fuck you. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will You're survive. You bitch. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. Between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. You're a little bitch. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Yo! You get some cover, goddammit. God damn it, what the fuck's go- Why is my fucking gun busted? What the hell?
Get behind cover, get behind cover, play smart, play smart. the bitch. Oh shit, it ain't over. I ain't dead yet. Boom, bitch. Did we get out of there? Or did we die? Oh no, am I dead? Fuck! Oh shit, did I survive? I... I can't believe Caden oh, didn't make it. we made it. it. How could we just leave him down there? Oof. Elenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Get it together, soldier. Caden's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander. Excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Do it! Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits on Ilos? That's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. Mm. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. 
That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. Son of a bitch. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. And maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, <clears throat> you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Oof. Well, I could play this till sunup, but unfortunately I work tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to call it a night soon. Walk around a little bit though on the ship and we'll call it a night. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an alliance? I enlisted. I but humanity needs the Alliance if we Nothing want to keep to expanding say, huh? through the Traverse. The and the Alliance coming. always... I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? 
Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I'd like to know more we about were the... the My people believe, although we seek to understand other species... Like what? Most of the... We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We... My... Although we seek to understand other species... Like what? Most of the... We still require a partner to reproduce. I don't understand. Mating is not the true connection. Is we explore. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the Every union? relationship is... Others can be more long-term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch is? She Kinev? rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term. I thought you always needed another species. Think to about it. You Asari I it is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. You might be Benezia many Asari raised their children alone, particularly if the father's Do you know why Benezia, Benezia but I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. Are you going to you be You are okay? kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But we... Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is... I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I thought I just did report to the council. Weird. anything new? Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There was no other choice. The mission is more important than one soldier. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. 
Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. While they sit on their asses, Saren searching Ilos for the conduit. As soon as he finds it, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I could not help but notice that you are attracting some unfriendly stairs, Tally. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. That is an ignorant opinion. Quarian explorers have uncovered more mass relays than any other race. I am glad that some still remember the contributions my people have made.
take a moment of your time. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Getting you your drug fix isn't high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. I'm glad you came, Jenna. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Hmm. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. <laughs> you ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people have no excuse not to talk to each other. Oh, I 
I think I went to the wrong place. Should have I just went to the elevator? I don't have this memorized yet. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse, and that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, her Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking at My brother's this? just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. What's in this for me? I can't afford Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more... I've heard rumors. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and danger. Traffic at the Citadel has not We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait I can't for promise a... anything. Excellent. Thanks again for your help. to create organic environments back on the flotilla, but we lack the space for anything as grand as this. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operators. Yes. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken.
After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. Mm. Nice. <laughs> What's up, bitches? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I'd like to know more about the we were the f my Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them- Like what? We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gen- I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. 
I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. Go ahead. I'm listening. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. I want this, Liara. I do. But are you sure you're ready? I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. I thought you'd never ask. Huh? By the goddess. Mm. That was incredible, Shepard. <laughs> oh, boy. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever mm. happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. You can Gear do up and it! Head down to the Joker, <laughs> drop us right on top of that bastard. Haha, <laughs> nice. What's up, bitch? We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. I never dreamed I would actually find Ilos.
Pharos, like the ancient human city of Troy, Ilos is a world known only through second-hand sources. References to Ilos have been found at several other Prothean ruins, though direct study of the world is unlikely to occur. Ilos lies in a remote area of the Terminus systems, only accessible by the legendary Mu Relay. 4,000 years ago, the Mu Relay was knocked out of position by a supernova and lost. Since then, Ilos and its cluster have been inaccessible. Occasionally, a university will organize an expedition to chart a route to Ilos using conventional FTL drive. These never get beyond the planning stages due to the distance and danger. The journey could take years or decades, passing through the hostile Terminus systems and dozens of unexplored systems. Mm. Past my bedtime, but a little bit more. Hmm. Gone. She dead. This is where I wish it wasn't be a first person shoot, I'd probably do better. Oh, 
they can shoot backwards. Well, oh, it's past my bedtime, so uh, that's a good place to stop. We'll uh, continue this another day.